My loneliest, darkest days have been related to being a solopreneur, being on my own and not knowing what to do, what to do next, how to grow, where I should focus my attention. Not even knowing that this journey of working for myself would be more than just creating a product, or offering a service that it's about me having to grow. I never realized that. I didn't have any insight into the fact that this journey was as much, if not more, about my own personal growth and development as it was about the growing and the developing of my business. I used to wake up in the morning and not know what I was going to do next. What do I do? Turn on the computer and I would get sucked into the busyness of business. And that if I had spent eight, 10, 12 hours a day at my laptop, that somehow I was moving along and somehow I was making progress. It took me years to realize that busy is a four letter word. And now it's a word that is not permitted in my vocabulary. There were so many times when I was being busy on the laptop and I would see other photographers doing amazing things, being successful, traveling the world, being featured on high profile platforms and just feeling that green, ugly, debilitating comparison. And that somehow I was not worthy, that I was not good enough. That just wasn't possible for me. That I wasn't the right kind of person to yield those kinds of results. But I decided that I couldn't accept that. I couldn't do it anymore. I knew I was destined for more. And so began this journey. This journey where I began to work on myself. I began to read and study and take courses. I began to network. I began to really put myself out there. And I also realized that I needed to feel good in the things that I did. I needed to feel good in the, the clients I was working with, in the jobs that I was doing. And I made some pretty drastic decisions in my business to follow that feeling of fulfillment and joy and passion and creativity. And while it went against the grain in terms of business as usual, I felt a deep calling and a deep knowing that I just had to explore. And this led me to wanting to help others find that calling, find that thing that pulls them, that they can't explain why it is that they need to do this thing, they just know that they need to do it. When I gave up being a wedding photographer, I was asked so many times, why are you giving it up? You're so good at it. And my response was, just because you're good at something doesn't mean you should. What really did it for me was specializing in creating portraits for women. Because it wasn't just about taking their photo. It was about helping them transform the way they saw themselves. That was the moment where my purpose, my future, my calling became clear. Help women see themselves differently. And at first it was through the lens of my camera, but now it's through helping them and guiding them to look inwards, to see themselves from the inside out. Because I recognized it through my own experience that when I followed that, when I followed that thing that was inside of me, when I did what felt right, that's when I felt fulfilled, that's when I felt alive, that's when I felt lit up. And I wanted to share that. I wanted every woman to experience that. And I realized that what that feeling was, was confidence, confidence in myself, confidence from inside, confidence to be who I wanted to be unapologetically, confidence to dream, go against the grain, confidence to do the things that are fun, that are easy, and the confidence to have the life that I never allowed myself to dream of before. And so my journey has taken me from being a photographer to being a public speaker, to writing a book, to showing up on video, to online courses, to interviewing fascinating women. So significantly, I've realized that I'm not alone in the way that I was feeling. If I were more confident, I'd be more consistent and I would probably 
charge what I'm worth and I'd be living the life. The whole solo entrepreneur journey is extremely daunting. I'm having to do everything myself. So that's, yeah, that's something else. <laughs> Don't have a degree or hundreds of years of experience. I feel like I'm not good enough yet. Confidence and belief in myself. It's that I cannot sell myself as the professional that I believe I am. For me, it's, it's sometimes tough on your own. I would love to be more confident um, at public speaking. I kept showing up. I kept getting uncomfortable. I kept learning new things. NLP, mindset, body confidence, reading constantly, continuing to do courses. I realized that I was my very own guinea pig, trying out all of these tools and techniques on myself first before sharing it with the members. Slowly but surely, one day at a time, one tick of the to-do list at a time, the academy started to take shape. And soon I realized how big this was and how much potential it had to help so many women all over the world. And now, look what we've created. So are you ready to take that step to create that thing that you need to create? What would you create if you were your most confident self?